India and beyond. So it's going to be four hours of fun. Hope you can join me. And I'm going to make dinner for you. Excellent. And I'll be right over. <laughs> hey, Sarah. She's like, oh, God, Melissa's cooking. You know what? <laughs> Anybody can cook. And Tiganea is joining us. It's my first time working with her. Welcome. Hello. It's so great to work with you. It's a pleasure to be you here. You have, I think, one of the coolest products. So I picked it as my house pick. It's from Kai Pure. It's the Komachi nine piece stainless steel knife and acrylic block set. I love how you store this, everyone. But the cool thing about this is that they are color coded. So you always know which one you're grabbing, right? It's so cool. I love that feature about it. So this is how you'll store them on your kitchen counter. But right here in front of us, we have all of them laid out. And I'm going to have you walk us through each one. Absolutely. So one of my favorite things to slice is citrus in the kitchen. And like citrus, we have a yellow knife here that's serrated. And that's the four inch. That is the four inch. Then we have this two and a half inch paring knife that's green. Then we have this blue all purpose knife. And that will do all sorts of different tricks in the kitchen okay. for you. This is a sandwich knife. Oh. Oh. And that's going to be something really cool that we'll demonstrate. This is a chef's knife. Mm -hmm. This is a tomato knife, the Sudoku, and the bread knife. Now, the Sudoku, that sounds serious. What will that be? That is going oh. to be... I think it's because I was enjoying the risotto <laughs> so much, but it's gone. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> totally <was> awesome. So <laughs> good. Okay, so they're color-coded, so you always know at a glance which yes. one you're grabbing. Now, these are actually made of stainless steel, but they're colored with... They're co they're colored with a paint that is totally safe. safe and it doesn't chip or anything like that okay, which is it. marvelous all right so let's get ready to go so uh, we're in the kitchen we have a, si a piece of salmon here yes and i was telling antigone that i always have to have my guy at buyer lease take the skin off my salmon she's like not with this set watch this it is something so simple to do so at you home. would use the blue you would use the blue this is an all-purpose knife that is similar to a boning knife okay so give us a lesson so how do we know we're not going too deep you simply want to make a small incision little right incision there in the end oh. and then you're going you see the skin starting you just to start slightly to pull. peel you start to pull but then you put your knife in on an angle and just oh. ever so gently and you're pulling it. as you're shimmying exactly it. Some people will say you want to do this with the skin down, but I think when you're learning, yeah. it's great to do it with the skin up because you can see what you're doing. You can make sure that you're getting a beautiful piece of salmon there. Oh, that's a great shot. Look at that, guys. Look at you that. can see. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so you don't want to lose a lot of your salmon. No. So you do it the first time, like skin up, so that way you know, right? Yes, and then you can you can stop there, and mm -hmm. you can slice that. You can put it on the grill. You can sear it. And whatever it you don't use, put your Ziploc. Exactly. <laughs> We've got everything for you we today. Do. Anything that you need for storage and cooking. Okay, so that's a really sensitive piece um, of fish is to cut. We're all nervous about cutting fish. Yes. But I'm also nervous when it comes to cutting like tomatoes. I don't want to bruise the tomato. You don't cut. want it to be mushy, you know, and messy, especially when you're doing those beautiful Capri salads. Exactly. And tomatoes are one of those things in the summer now. They are oh, bountiful, right? right? And you should see my, I have three tomato plants in my backyard. I have an heirloom tomato plant. Oh, I'm so envious. Oh my God, I love it. And the taste from those oh, is just killer, so isn't amazing, it? right? So one cool feature, it has this awesome oh. little divot, so you can use that. So the red that. one is your tomato knife. Red is tomato, so Got that it. should maybe only be confusing if you're using heirlooms. <laughs> and you oh, can look how that just pours that right there. out. Yes, and that is great. It comes right out, Okay. so you don't have to worry about that. And then nice, beautiful serrations here. Yeah. And look at how it's just like butter, like butter, exactly. And you can do oh, and I'm dice already with smelling. It. Oh, I know that tomato, beautiful, juicy. You tomato. put a little slice of mozzarella, little basil, a little basil, which we have here for you already. Look at this, a little mozzarella. Isn't and that gorgeous? Look how pretty that is on yeah. a white plate. Ooh. Love yes, it. I love it. Okay. Tomatoes are my favorite Mine as summer well. vegetables. When so I that's was a little a girl, treat. I'm talking like three and four, my mom would find me in the garden eating a tomato. So I've always liked to eat. <laughs> Even as a toddler. Well, you've got the right job I would then, just don't toddle you? up to yep, the garden exactly. and get a tomato. Okay, so now we have cucumbers and celery. Which one would you use for that? I'm going to use the Sudoku, and okay. this is a warrior in the kitchen when it comes to chopping. It sounds, the name. I know, right? It sounds very Japanese and yes. serious, but it is actually one of the more popular knives on the market right now, just okay. in general, because it does so much. This flat edge allows the food to release oh so right. easily, right? and you don't have to have a whole lot of 
knife control mm -hmm. if you're not comfortable right. going rocking back and forth with a chef's knife. And you get really gorgeous, nice chunks mm -hmm. of vegetables. You can do <gasps> the oh cucumber just in seconds. It's just and just look at how really gliding. Yes, they're so sharp. Mm -hmm. And they slide right off. You're not trying to fight with all the pieces so of vegetables. So if you have a doll, I think a doll knife is even more dangerous than a sharp knife. Yes, it's true. And these never will get dull because you can sharpen them at home. Okay. You can sharpen them on a stone, on a Japanese electric slicer. So you can sharpen them. You can. Now, I love the the clear acrylic block set. That, to me, is so edgy, so cool, and the colors are just so much fun. It's back by demand. It is my house pick, and this hasn't been presented on air since June. It's on sale until midnight tonight for $65.29. Now you have a yellow one. Got the yellow coming out. And that's your citrus. This is for citrus, so say you're making margaritas in the summer, or maybe homemade lemonade, and you got to knock through a lot of lemons and limes. Yes. Just look at how quickly that goes through. These are so light, but you don't lose any of the power of a heavy knife with them. Got it. So you're just slicing oh, on that's through even their through the mark. thick skin and through the seeds. Even like mm -hmm. they're cutting right in half with these. Wow, and that smells. I love fresh oh, lemon. Is my favorite thing in the summer. Mm, yeah, that's Isn't amazing. That great? Can we show bread as well? Because yes. this is. Um, it's like my favorite food group. <laughs> <laughs> a woman after my own heart. I love bread. <laughs> bread is like, it just does it's something heaven. to my soul. I know. It's so comforting. So we, what color would you recommend for the bread? You use, uh, pretty much everything is coated to go with the food that it works with. So this has a nice brown crust. This is a nice, beautiful brown knife. Mm -hmm. And look at so how So it's all color coded properly. That <gasps> is. And this is a really hard, hard loaf but of But it, it, it's yeah. nice and moist on the inside. Exactly. But that crust is nice so and crunchy. So if this is coming right out of the oven and it's yes. nice and crusty on the outside, soft on the inside, oh, that you is get so beautiful, soft. beautiful slices. This is like They're a multi grain bread. Yes. Oh, look at the nuts in this. Oh my God, we should, with and butter. Slather that with butter. Oh. You, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> and one of the cooler knives in the set is this sandwich knife. Okay. Because a lot of times you need like three or four different tools to make one sandwich. Okay. But with this knife, you have this spreading function mm -hmm. on it because it has a nice wide blade. Mm -hmm. So Is that just, almond butter or peanut butter? This is peanut butter. And we're just going to make oh, a classic. And look at how nicely that, that spreads. spreads. And but then, then got the if you, your kids want you to cut the um, crust off, oh, you can, right? Easy peasy. Right. Because it has the serrations. Uh -huh. Let's clean that up a little bit. So watch bit. this. If you have a picky, finicky kid that says, no, Boom. I don't want the crusts. Yes. <laughs> My director happy. Tom's like, I don't like the crust either. <laughs> oh, you just wait, Tom. That baby Charlie Bishop's there not going to like the crust Look at that. Then. Look how pretty that is. And it's so simple. And this is the kind of knife that even your kids can make their own sandwich mm -hmm. with because it has a softer blade. You okay. just want to be careful, but these aren't toys. They're, they're not for like kids. toys, but they're not for but kids. But I know what you mean. Like your young adult, your teenagers yeah. that, you know, you're in, you would recommend this one for them to start with. Exactly. And always supervise. Yes. You know? But Absolutely. I always say a sharp knife to me is safer than a dull knife. And I heard that from my friend Daniel Green, who's a chef. Because when, when you have a dull knife, it's like you're working harder and then it slips and then you can poke your wrist and, you know, and exactly. a dull knife will cut you. Yes. So if you have the right knives, it just makes that cooking, you know, it, it's a wonderful experience. Exactly. Right? And you're going to have so much fun cooking with these and having them in your mm -hmm. kitchen when you have company over and they see these in the kitchen. Everyone asks about them because they look so awesome. Well, Antigone, I love your name. Thank you. I love your voice. You have a sexy voice. <laughs> well, thank and you. I love working with you. I hope we get to work together again. I sure do too. It's great to see you. Thanks. And what a fun item you have. It's it's color coded. It's cool. It's sleek. It has, you know, it's, it's beautiful, but it's functional yes. as well and you'll love having it on your kitchen counter. It's on sale for today and today only at $65.29, and it is back by demand, 400 322 Well, I will see you back tomorrow night kicking off a brand new Today's Top Value. But Sarah is standing by, and she might have one more presentation on our Portofino Today's Top Value. So stay tuned. Our must-have fall jewelry event's kicking off next. Don't go away.